Hi everyone, Pug owned again and in this video I am making a pit bull. I was asked by somebody in The Sims if I could make one, so I decided to. And yes, he has his ears and tail intact because again, it's really important for doggy social interaction. Okay, so let's get going into it. So I started with the pit bull that they have in Cas. Although it's really, really cute, I didn't think it's very much pit bull-esque. So I took it back to white and started to model it, it to try and get it to resemble a pit bull. Well, it is a pit bull, but more of a pit bull. And then I started to add in details. And you'll see me change it quite a bit throughout, as I always do. I really enjoyed making this one. I don't really make a lot of dogs. I've been more making the little wild cats. So I'm enjoying doing the dogs. It's been fun. So I'm trying to, I was trying to get rid of a seam there around the ear. So I just added in another color to try and hide it because you could see the white around the ear too much. And I went with a black and white one because I think they are really, really cute. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the details onto the fur without it being too flat. Trying to get details in and it took a while, back and forth, back and forth, as I always do. Lots of tea and some misu for lunch. So I did vary from my routine a little bit. So just trying to get around his muzzle right, which was a lot of umming and ahhing and back and forth and back and forth. And I had Bonnie looking up at the monitor the whole time because the dog kept barking and then she barked and it was, it was amusing, it was very amusing. So I am, where am I now, I'm trying to catch up with it. Oh, I keep modelling it down and moving it around because the eyes didn't look right and everything. Okay, so I am reshaping it a bit, trying to get the nose a lot better. And what you'll see me go back and forth to my library because I want to see how it looks in the pose. And that's what I was doing there, was trying to see. I'm trying to give his eyes some depth and shade in the bone structure and the veins and so he keeps all those facial features. But he's getting there, slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> right, so now I'm trying to work out the pattern for his body. I wanted him black and white. I just love black and white dogs. But I couldn't really work it out, so I went over it a few times. But I thought this suited him. And you can see here I'm using different transparencies to get the fur texture, to make it reflect some light and not look so flat. And try to take away the harsh edges through here. Adding some details around his muzzle and under his chin and doing the get the same with all the different spots and patches that I'm putting on is just trying to take away the harsh edges and blend it slightly so it just looks more realistic. So lots and lots of do-overs which I have cut out I kept going back in, then back out, then back in, then back out. Oh, some chicken news. It's sad, unfortunately. Umpa, uh, I took her to the vets last Saturday and uh, she was euthanized. There was nothing more they could do. I was heartbroken. <laughs> I love my chickens and I'd raised her since she was, you know, hatched from the egg. 
bit of sad news. And her sister, Lumka, is missing her terribly. She keeps running around and calling her. And if I leave the door open, she comes running in and looking for her. But that's what it's, you know, having pets, unfortunately. That's part of it. So, here we go. I am trying to get the tummy right. After all, that's happened here. So that's how he started. This is him somewhere in the middle. And this is him finished. And he is friendly, loyal, and smart. Because pit bulls are really nice dogs. Because it's never really the dog breed. It's, you know, they're a lovely dog. If you socialize them young, I think he looks really handsome with his ears and tail. And this is him as a puppy. Which is really sweet. <laughs> really sweet. Okay, I will hop out here and I will be back very soon with another animal. And if you would like me to make something, just leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see if I can make it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.